Hello there, eighth graders, and welcome to week six, lesson two, but not so much of a lesson today, since you're going to be working on your paper this week. You do have deadlines to watch, so be careful of that. Both Wednesday and Friday, you've got deadlines. Uh, and again, this is also the last week of turning things in, Friday being the last for anything um, other than, of course, the paper. So any makeup work, any redos, any retakes, that kind of thing, got to get it in. But I want to still be here to get you started off right. So that's what we're doing. And what a great one to go on to get you started. Whatever you do, do it for the Lord. Yes, that means your research paper too. All right, what? It? Yes, whatever you do, do it for the Lord. You are His. You are His adopted child through the waters of baptism. And you are one with the Lord. I think if he were asking you to do something right there in the room with you, the person, the God, the God man, the person and God that got on that cross and was brutally killed and rose again for you. If he asked you to do it, would you? And would you do it well? Well, that's what he wants for you, for you to remember is do it unto him. Do all things, even those little things, changing the dirty nappies of a little brother or sister, or maybe you have older brothers and sisters who have kids, so you're an aunt or an uncle. That's, you can do it unto the Lord, graciously, lovingly serving the Lord through serving your neighbor in need. We've talked about that before. It doesn't sound too new, I hope, to you. But we're doing everything unto the Lord, even our schoolwork. God has a plan for you, and he utilizes the things you're learning, the disciplines you're learning, the lessons you're learning about following directions, all of that. There's a purpose, God's great purpose, and you will be fulfilled by doing it as well, more than you can even know now. Trust in him. And let's start then also with prayer for the day. Heavenly Father, bless our parents, teachers, and all those who love and care for us. Help us in all ways to be respectful and obedient to them according to your will. Send down upon us your grace to perform all our duties carefully and faithfully, to avoid unacceptable company and influence, and to resist all temptation that may come our way. Help us, Lord, to live a serious, good, and godly life, praising you constantly and glorifying your holy name. We also ask you to hear these prayers we bring before you for this pandemic to come to a swift close for the people who contracted the coronavirus to get better, including Karina's neighbor. For all those who are at greater risk of exposure to COVID-19 to be protected. For our families to be loving and supportive of one another. And for strength, compassion, patience throughout this adversity to cause us to grow the further in the grace and knowledge that will serve us throughout our lives. All this we ask in thy most holy and blessed name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so I hope you had an opportunity to listen to this. Ideally, at the beginning of the day, you start it all off right. Again, having that time dedicated, set aside for our Lord, just a tiny bit. Since he gives us everything else, not too much to ask. Just again, come to your Lord in prayer. All right, guys, have a good day of doing your research, your paper, other classes. I'll give you a little time to do that. Focus on mine, no. Uh, anyway, we'll talk to you more. If you need any uh, questions answered or ideas for something, make sure you come to the Zoom class and we'll address that. Take care. Love you guys.